In this lecture, you will learn about a very important building block of any programming language known as data types. They refer to the type of data that can be stored or is stored in a variable. PHP offers support for different data types. We have booleans, integers, floats, strings, arrays, objects, callables, resources, and norms. Let's start with the most basic and simplest type, which is a boolean. This type represents only two states, which is either true or false. So in a boolean type, we have false or true. So these are the only two things that we can store in a boolean. This data type is very important, especially when it comes to conditional testing which you are going to learn about later in this course. To specify that a variable is holding a boolean, all we need to do is to create a variable as we have done before. We initialize the variable. Let's say light on equal to true. So by setting light on equal to true, we automatically say that this variable is a boolean. So if I change the true to false, we are also saying the same thing. This variable is a boolean. In order to determine the type that is stored in a variable, PHP gives us different options. The basic one is to use the var dump and then give the name of the variable. So this will essentially give me the type of the variable and then the value that is stored in a variable. So let's do a refresh on the browser. This tells me it's a boolean and the value is false. Another way to do this would be to use another construct, which is get type. This will give us a human readable representation of a type that is being stored inside of the variable that we're checking. So let's refresh the page. I need to do an echo on that. Let's say echo. Then it tells me it's a boolean. Lastly, when it comes to type checking, if, for example, we really want to do a conditional checking to know if this variable is of a certain type, PHP gives us different ways to do that. And usually these are referred to the is type construct. So if I say is underscore bully, the word bool. Okay, so this is going to check, is this variable a boolean? Okay, so if this variable is a boolean, then it's going to return true. So refresh. Okay, so it returns true, which is one. If it wasn't a boolean, it's going to return false, which is actually zero. And in, mo in most cases, it's just going to be null. Nothing will be displayed. So essentially, false is zero, and then true is one. There are times when we want to cast value to boolean in PHP or in any programming language. And to do that, we are going to use a keyword in front of the value that we are assigning to the variable. So for example, if I want to cast this to a boolean, all I need to do is to use the word bool. Remember, one here is just a number. If we were to just remove this keyword bool, and then do a refresh, doesn't show anything because one is not a boolean. Okay, but if we are going to cast this to a boolean, use the word bool here, and then if we do a refresh now, it should tell us that this is a boolean. The following values that I'm going to show to you are considered false. So they're going to yield a false value. The first one will be an empty string. So let's say a string is empty. PHP is going to treat this as a false value. So if we convert string to a boolean, it's going to be false. So we say vadom string. The refresh tells us that this is a string and it has zero length. So if we cast this to boolean and say bool, then do a refresh, this is going to be false because it's an empty string. And then also the string zero. So by default, it's a string zero. I'm casting it to boolean here so that I can do the check. So if we do a refresh on the browser, 
You see, it's also false. The same thing is true for the integer zero. This is also false, okay? And then the same thing is true for a floating point number, 0, 0.0. Do we refresh? See the same? And then the same thing is true for an empty array. And then do a refresh, okay? You see that it's still false. But if I remove the cast here, just to show you that this is an array, and then we do a refresh, tells me this is an array of zero elements. So an empty array, empty string, the string zero, the integer zero, floating point 0, 0.0, and then the constant force will all return a force value in PHP. All right, let's move on to the next one, which is an integer. I'm going to comment out all of this. An integer is basically a whole number which can either be positive or negative. For example, the number minus 2 or the number 100, these are all considered as integer. And you can actually see the range here between minus 2 billion plus and plus 2 billion. Any number within this range is considered an integer. In PHP, integers can be specified in different ways. We can specify integers as decimals, which is base 10. We can specify integers as hexadecimal, which is base 16. We can specify integers as octas, which is base 8, or as binary, which is base 2 notation. So I'm going to quickly show you an example of each one of these. So firstly, we just start with a basic integer call this int, then assign the value of 1001. So we do a vidom on int. Let's do a refresh. Tells us this is an int, and then this is the value that we have assigned. So this is the basic example of using decimal to assign integer to a variable. So let's say this uh, decimal. Okay, so the same is true for a negative number. Say so int equals minus 2300. So let's do a refresh. Okay, so the same is true for a negative number. It's also an integer. So to assign an integer using the octa notation, all we need to do is actually prefix it with a zero and then specify the octa equivalent. All right, let's see an example. Call this octa equal to zero and then one to five so one to five in octa will be the equivalent of the number octa equivalent of the number 85 all right so if we do a refresh on the browser and then this is the number 85 the same thing is true if we want to assign an integer using the hexadecimal notation. We need to prefix it with 0 and x. So for octa, we just use only 0. Then if we're going to do hexadecimal, or this x, we need to prefix it with 0 and x. Okay, so I say 0x and then 1e, for example. It's a decimal equivalent of decimal 30. Bottom x. That's the equivalent of the decimal number 30. And then to use binary, we prefix the binary with O and B. So let's see an example. Binary. So we prefix it with O and B and then the binary number. So here I'm going to say 1111001 one, 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 zero, zero, one in binary. And then we are going to vadump binary to give us the equivalent in decimal. So when assigning the value as an integer, if we do exceed the maximal size of integer type php is going to automatically convert it to a floating point number for us 
So I have an example of a number here that we can use to test. Call this variable maximum size. And then this is going to be equal to this number. And then I'm going to do a var dump on this. Okay, so this has already exceeded the size of an integer. If you see here, the size is between negative 2 billion plus and then positive 2 billion plus. So this is already above that number. If we do a refresh, PHP is going to convert this to floating point, right? So you see that PHP converts the type from an integer to float automatically for us. So that brings us to the next on the list, which is a floating point number. So basically in PHP, a floating point number is a number that has a decimal point. So for example, say flow plus 10.3. It's a floating point number. So in other languages, you will have a type which is also called double. But in PHP, a float is the same thing as a double or renumber, as opposed to other programming language where there are different types for float and there are different type for double. Essentially, the difference is just a size in terms of what you can store in it. Usually, float will be 32 bit and then double will be 64 bit. But in PHP, they are essentially the same thing. Right, so do a vadom on this. Let's do a refresh now. Right, so this is a floating point number. Let's move on to the next on the list, which is called a string. Basically, anything that is between quotes in PHP is a string. And this is essentially a series of characters. Let's see an example here. So it's a string equal I am a string. So anything that is within quotes, either single quote or double quote, is a string. So let's do another one and then use single quote for this. A string in single quote. So anything that is in between quotes and PHP is referred to as a string. So if we do a vadump on this, then refresh our page. See, this is a string. That's 29 characters. Then the actual value. I am a string in single quotes. So we can also do the is type on it. Is string. Right? So we're going to echo this out. Is this a string? So if we do an echo on that, it's going to give us one, which means that it's a string. So if we say, is this an integer? Is this an int? It's going to give us false. We're not going to see anything on the page because that's not an integer. So why I'm just showing this is because I didn't show you this when we were discussing about integers and float. So the same thing is true for all of that. You can use is float, is string, is bool, is int, is array. All of these are things that you can use to check if a particular variable is of a certain type. All right, another way that we can specify a string is to use here doc in PHP. Right, so this is a special syntax that we can also use to specify a string. So you're going to say echo. When we're using here doc, we start with less than sign in three places. And then we give an identifier for the string. Identifier in this case is going to be test. And then we're going to end it with the identifier test. Okay, so in between, we can put any string here. We can also use variables inside here. So if I say less test the string. Okay, so this is the variable that we defined outside. So if we do an echo on this, it's going to actually display the string. Let's test the I am a string in single quotes. All right, let's do a refresh and see. Okay, so let's test the I am a string in single quote. This part of it comes from the vadom that we did uh, before the hair doc. Declaration of the hair dog here, where I have echo less than sign in three places, and then the 
identifier this can be anything so usually we we'll use EOT to do specify this so EOT still going to do the exact same thing and then the string will be in between the opening and then the closing adoc syntax and then the other way is also to use the nadoc available from php version 5.3 this is almost very similar to the here doc except that we cannot use a variable inside of the nadoc so if i say echo the same way that we did that test okay so this is the same but to differentiate it and say this is nadoc we need to enclose this with single quotes and then we can put the string inside and using now talk try to call the variable string you see that we cannot access that variable inside of here let's put a break put a break here too let's do a refresh right so i am using nadoc and then it returns the variable as a string so these are some of the different ways that we can specify a string in php